Hi and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a ROM file of your original PlayStation 1 game and set it up so you can play it on your Android phone wherever you go. The things you'll be needing are... The game, of course. A Android phone. Phone to USB cable. A cup of coffee, very important. And a PC. Step 1 is to make a copy of the game, so called ROM or image. So go ahead and put the disk into your PC. If a pop-up window appears, you can just close that. For making a copy of the game, we are going to use a program called Alcohol 120%. I am using version 2.0.1. When the program is opened up, go to the option Image Making Wizard. After clicking that, a pop-up window appears, and the first thing we are going to set is the data type. This must be set to PlayStation. Next is the read speed. Set this to maximum. Now click on the tab reading options and set the image name. Then set the image location. I use my desktop for this. And for the image format, we are going to set this to clone CD image file. After that make sure all these settings are set up exactly like they are here, so only the option Read Subchannel Data Box is checked. Go ahead and click Start. Step 2. This is a good time to drink that coffee I pointed out earlier. You have been using so much alcohol. Coffee is in order, don't you think? Step 3. In the time it takes for the disk to finish, we are going to download a BIOS file which is needed for the games to run properly later on in the emulator on your phone. Go to the site called emuparadise.me. On the top left corner, under ROMs, ISOS, Games, click on Emulator Extras. Now click on BIOS Images. Scroll down to PSX BIOS SCPH 1001 zip and download it to your desktop by clicking on the link.
Extract this zip file to your desktop. This is the file we are going to be needing later. Now when the image making process is finished, go ahead and close the program. Next, we are going to delete some files that we are not going to need anymore. So we are left with only the Final Fantasy VII Disk 1 of 3.img and SCP-1001 bin files. Step 4. Plug in your phone to the PC and navigate to its memory card. In there, we are going to create a new folder called ROMs. You can now select the two files and copy or paste them into the ROMs folder. Step 5. Downloading on your phone the emulator called FPSE. This app is not free. You will have to pay a small fee for it, which is totally worth every penny. Open up the Play Store and search for FPSE. If so, do the necessary steps to purchase this and install it. Step 6. Setting up FPSE. Here FPSE will download its necessary plugins. Click on Advanced and click on Load BIOS. Navigate to the earlier created folder, called ROMs, and select the SCPH1001.bin. Go to Settings, and click on System Settings, In here leave everything unchecked, except for Fast Boot. In audio settings, leave everything unchecked, except for SPU sync. In video settings, uncheck everything, except for frame limiter. Game pad type should be on digital pad by default. And only for the Spiria play in overlay game pad, game pad skin, select disable. Next, we are going to set up the options for saving your games. In the MISC settings, click on select save path and navigate to your ROMs folder.
You can do the same for the memory card 1 and 2. After this you will be able to save in game to memory card and or quick save for instant saving. Last but not least, click on Save Config as default, so you won't have to set all these settings each and every time. I think a pat on your shoulder is in order here, for it is now time to load your game. Hooray! Peria play users only. If you want the buttons on top to be gone too, go to the settings and disable the gamepad skin once more. You can later on assign the L2 and R2 buttons to the volume buttons. Remember, when L2 and R2 are set to the volume buttons, press the down left option button while playing the game to be able to adjust your sound. This is Vic signing off. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.